Best of Super Juniors Tournament First Round Match ACH vs Zack Sabre Jr. See you after the match, I'll try to give you my biased insight on what we saw. Okay, enjoy.
Fast and Furious A Siege battles the Submission Master and Technical Wizard that is Zack Sabre Jr. We saw how ACH tried to just knock Zack the fuck out, but Zack Sabre Jr. clearly had a more structured game plan. As example, going straight for the legs so ACH could not do his high flying maneuvers. And what's interesting is that Zack Sabre Jr. moved from legs to arms, from arms to the neck, just using this sick joint manipulation to his advantage. Just understand this, ACH is faster than him, has more strength and more stamina. So, how did Zack Sabre Jr. manage to win? Well, he went for the legs to slow ACH down, he bent the arm so there wouldn't be no power advantage, and of course by going for the neck, Zack Sabre Jr. ensured there will be no stamina advantage. Everything in this match went according to the plan, and in the end Zack Sabre Jr. just had to deliver one tiger suplex. ACH did land few good strikes, but if we look at this match as a whole, it was always Zack landing important blows. Congratulations to Zack Sabre Jr. He now advances to the second rounds of a Best of Super Juniors tournament. He will be a very dangerous contender. His in-ring psychology is nearly perfect. Every submission Zack Sabre Jr. applies. He makes them look easy. That's why he's one of the most dangerous submission wrestlers on this tournament.